This is our front yard, and the weather over the last year has not been kind to it. We started with a record-breaking seven-day freeze, then followed that up with a record-breaking heat wave and drought. Then when it finally did rain again, it was an absolute flood. And all this has left our front flower bed looking a bit sad. But now that it's fall and the weather's finally cooling down a bit, we're finally ready to whip the front of our house back into shape. Unless it whips us first. Oh, gosh. So welcome to the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Whoa! Look at those new shoes. Would you look at these shoes? Dang, Andrea. Man, a fresh set of sneakers, huh? How's it feel? Feels good. I love comfy shoes. Am I getting old? I am getting old. Isn't it such a nice feeling when we get that fresh new pair of sneakers? It's just such a good feeling. I feel like we do that so rarely that it feels really good when you get those fresh set of kicks. You know what I'm saying? My feet feel nice. All right, so where are we going right now? Where else are, where else are we going? <laughs> Lowe's. What are we getting at Lowe's? I should have asked. We're getting, we're getting something very different. We're getting plants today. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a fall refresh update it finally is feeling like fall here in texas at least in the mornings it is and then we get back up in the 90s <laughs> After taking a look around and looking at all of the options, I finally made some decisions and started grabbing plants. I tried to stick with varieties that I was pretty confident could handle the crazy weather we have here with the extreme heat in the summer and then the random freezes in the winter. I really love the purple color and then the texture of the small leaves on these barberry plants. I like these pots. I don't know how much they are. I want one. They're heavy. The Texas sun has come out to greet us. Next, I grabbed these butterfly bushes, which have these pretty little white flowers, and like the name implies, they attract butterflies. It's always scary when she asks for a second cart. Ma'am, your cart? Your second cart? You wanna race? Ow, babe. I've been on the lookout for some new pots to add to our front door area, and these planters are perfect, and it turns out they're on clearance. That one. This one, Madam? My pleasure. Now I kind of want one of the small ones. Oh, how am I supposed to fit any plants on that? Dang, this took up the whole thing. I fell in love with the fall colors on these firebush plants and they look perfect in the pots that I grabbed. This looks rather dangerous. Next, I grabbed some Indian hawthorn, which I also know does well in our area. Hey, don't you get to fancy in anything up there, you hear me? Wait, what is going on here? Ma'am, ma'am, it would appear that you have a third cart. Can Those you- are small carts, they're small. <laughs> Okie dokie. Three carts for the gal, three carts. This ought to be interesting. That is not gonna fit. Dude, this thing weighs like 75 pounds. Let's do this. Love that sound. Before we start planting all of the new plants, let's take a look at what our front flower bed currently looks like. We had a couple of record freezes the last winter along with two months of 100 degree plus temperatures this summer and no rain, so pretty much only the hardiest plants survived. But now that the temperatures are finally cooling back off and it's a good time to plant in our area, we're ready to get this front landscaping back in shape. Step one is to put all of my plants out where I think I want them to be planted. Right, come on, big boy. I did do some planning on the front end to get a good idea of what I wanted where, but setting everything out just gives me a good visual to see if I want to change anything up. How'd you get so strong? How'd you get so good looking? <laughs> I brought you a gift. Oh, thanks. Shh. 
Show them your best dance moves. Come on. Come on, babe. Show them. Here, I'll show them. What is that? I don't. I can't actually dance at all. Is that it? Yeah. We got the big pots. I saved those for you. Me? Hey! Is it really heavy? It weighs as much as four pumpkins. You can put it on it, just kind of next to the black. No, like on it, put it on the mulch. What are you looking at? <laughs> I can't keep up. Yeah. Baby, you gotta stop getting these heavy pots. <laughs> I actually kind of want some more. <laughs> no. They're so pretty. Stop. How's it looking? How are we feeling? <laughs> Good. I just might need more plants. It's such a big space. Did you just say more plants? I don't know. I'm just thinking. That was one of our questions that we got that I didn't answer is something that you're not good at with design, construction, and this is what came to mind is landscaping. I'm, I don't feel like I'm very good at landscaping. I think you're good at it. <laughs> I just don't think you're as confident at it. Well, I am getting a little bit more understanding about even like mixing the different textures and stuff. And I have learned the hard way what plants don't do well here. So I'm trying it's, to buy hardier plants. That is like really important in landscaping is get stuff that is good for where you live. Is that why they call you the plant killer? <laughs> Nobody calls me the plant killer. Uh, you said yourself that you're not good at keeping plants alive. I love plants, but I also I'm not very good at watering them and keeping them alive. I am not, but we'll just say that's because I focus on keeping humans alive, all the little humans. Okay, so I got all the plants laid out. I think I still want to get some more, but we're gonna go to our local farm patch because they are really good about carrying plants that do well in our region. So I'm gonna see what they have, and they usually have a pretty good selection of mums and other fall plants for planters. So three carts wasn't enough, huh? <laughs> This is a really big space. Frankenstein pumpkin, the butt pumpkin, corn on the cob pumpkin. These pumpkins don't look right. Successful mission. Okay, so we didn't end up getting any plants there, but I did get pumpkins and I found white sweet potatoes and our grocery stores never have those, but I have some recipes that call for white sweet potatoes. So I was so excited to see those. Hey, that's one of the benefits of going to your local farm patch. That's Support true. the local. And now we're gonna take a quick lunch break before we go run a couple more errands. It's a lemonade kind of day. Andrea is the fastest eater in the world. Today is a two lemonade kind of day. As I always forget to pay for parking. Do you have a 30 minute version? All right, so where are we off to now? Home Depot. Oh yeah, and what are we getting here? I'm just gonna look at their plant selection. I kind of cleared out a lot of the stuff I wanted from Lowe's, so we'll see. We'll see if Home Depot has anything that'll work. All right, so what happened in there? Uh. I just didn't have anything I wanted. So we're gonna go to Lowe's anyway, so I just figured rather than buying like two things, I'll just go to Lowe's. Would you say that you're plant picky? Well, I've just learned which plants die really easily under my care. <laughs> and I don't want to get those. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be right if we didn't go to Lowe's at least once <laughs> in a day, right? And we're back. Bueno, see. Sí. Darwin? Babe? Oh, I caught a 
exciting though, right there. I've been looking for you everywhere. Where'd you run off to? This is getting a bit ridiculous, babe. Baskets. Number four. After we got the rest of the plants, we headed back to the house and continued laying everything out before we moved on to planting. I'm still figuring out where all these go. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. Now you're just confused? <laughs> no. Is this a game of like musical chairs with plants? Man, it's getting so hot out here. I'm gonna take my shirt off. Would you like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think I got everything about where I want it. So the next step will be actually planting all of these plants. Once I finally had everything where I wanted it, it was time to grab a shovel and start planting. What's happening? This part of the yard just gets baked by the sun. Ow! Gosh. Looks like nice and easy digging, yeah? <laughs> All right, number five. <laughs> Only 20 more left, babe. Did you count? Is it really 20 more? It's 20 more. That's right, there's 25 total. Hey, that's not bad. That's only four times what I've done. Y'all done with that side? Yeah. When is it gonna be my turn? <laughs> you can dig now. Some people use gardening gloves. I use motocross gloves. I just feel more at home in my moto gloves, you know? <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? No. It's Sorry. Ready for this? Don't hurt my plant. You better get that hole right where I had it. We're gonna redo it. <laughs> I like this. I can hold the camera and just tell you what to do and say not good enough this way, that way. <laughs> yeah, okay. How big does this need to be? That's probably good. You do yours kind of cone shaped, huh? <laughs> I really like messing with you. Good job. Your hole looks incredible. Don't plant the plant. I'm gonna plant the plant. Why can't I plant the plant? Because <laughs> you're not allowed to. I'm planting the plant. No, baby. How hard can it be? I did it. <laughs> you just threw muddy water on my face, babe. I'm so sorry. You better dang it. It's I I got muddy water all over me. God made dirt, dirt don't hurt. I'm about to hurt you. <laughs> I'm gonna have the camera back. I think I'm a little faster than you. Yes, I am. You want to bet? Let's say we have ourselves a little competition. Mano y mano. <laughs> We're doing this right here, right now. Mm -hmm. All right, you go first. Contestant number one, the DIY wire. You're going super slow. I'm not racing you digging. You didn't even finish planting that one. Sounds like a lot of excuses to me. You can be the better digger, but I'm more precise. How come every time we start a competition, you start making excuses halfway <laughs> through it? Not. When you realize that you're going to lose. Hey! That landed on my head. <laughs> you have dirt on you too. Yeah, he thinks this is a lot of dirt. You threw the bucket on top of my head. <laughs> I threw mine across the yard and got <laughs> dirt on you. You threw, <laughs> you threw yours on my head. <laughs> my aim is better, what can I say? You butthead. <laughs> Gotta keep it fun, right? You just wanted to see me take my shirt off. That's what really is happening here. <laughs> okay, the time was one minute, 10 seconds. You slow poke. Start the clock. It's going. Look at the speed, the agility. Is that where I had that plant? Yes. <laughs> Trying to show us some good sides. <laughs> You're gonna have to stop looking. <laughs> Is that good? 
<laughs> now you're going to go into the photo <laughs> Wait, that is actually a little bit too deep. How long was mine? Four minutes. <laughs> one minute and 40 seconds. Did I say yours was 110? I meant 310. You lose. Well, Miss Speedy Gonzalez, for your prize, you get to plant the rest of them. So that's it, huh? All 25? Yep. Nice. Gross. All right, so what next? Lunch. We need to pick up some mulch, grab a few mums. Mums? Mums. Some kind of fall flower for the pots. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. I'm hungry. Me too. All right, so where are we going for lunch today? Same place we always go now. Not Lowe's, Kava. Now we've got two go-to places, Lowe's and Kava. Back to Kava. Rat roll. Once again, Andrew is the fastest eater in the world. And I forgot to pay for parking. Let me in. Why well, you always lock the door on me? All right, where to now? The Lowe's. Duh. This feels like deja vu. <laughs> Didn't we go to Kava and then the home improvement store last time? Mm -hmm. Like, no. Eh. That was two days ago. Yesterday was a homeschool day. Lowe's trip number 79. <laughs> What's the count? 20 bags. Oh, go, baby. Oh, go. You're going the wrong way. Yeah, this girl over here. Oh, yeah. You're going to tip it over. I'll make you pick it up by yourself if you do. After getting everything loaded up, we headed back to the house and then, of course, unloaded everything. That's all she wrote. Time to unload. You go here. But you go here. You go here. Oh, sorry. You go here. You go here. You go there. You go right here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, height! Seventeen, eighteen. So I just had this realization, why in the world did I not use the wheelbarrow? Thanks babe, look at you. You got all the mulch. I didn't get a single bag. I like working with you. Ooh, magic box. I know, I'm so glad I decided to organize this last summer. This is all of my, what would you call it, like irrigation drip system stuff. We actually, the previous owners left a lot in our garage, so I had a lot to choose from, and then I just kind of added to it a little bit when I set stuff up up here last year, or the year before that. So I already have my main hose that kind of runs the whole length of everything, and then I either have little like tiny hoses that connect off of it, and then you've got your connector pieces. This is a little dripper that you can stick by the plant. So most of them, I already had those, and I just kind of moved them around a little bit. But like this one, all I did was use this to punch a hole in my main tube so I could add in a little dripper by this plant and then I'll just do that kind of checking and making sure they're all like laid out where I want them and actually by the plant because last year we did have some of them get moved around and that is why some of my plants died is I thought I was watering them and I wasn't because the drippers got moved so before we add the mulch I'm just gonna check all of it and add where I need to which hopefully will go pretty fast oh yeah I'm sure it'll be super fast <laughs> it's like yeah. my always that's always my thought Welcome to the light, my child. After finishing the drip system, we had one last thing to take care of before laying out the mulch. Last year, we cut down this crepe myrtle that was planted way too close to the house, but since I didn't remove all of the roots, it keeps coming back. Ah, it fell on my head. Are you tickled? 
squish. After cutting the crepe myrtle branches down, I grabbed my leaf blower and blew all of the loose debris out of the flower beds because I have found that this makes spreading the mulch easier and cleaner. All right, so we have the irrigation system all in place, all the mulch is out. We just blew all the loose leaves off of there, so we're ready to actually start laying out the mulch. Laying the mulch out is always super exciting because it's the last step, but it has such a huge impact in making the landscaping look finished. After over 20 bags of mulch and a lot of hard work, our front yard landscaping makeover is finally finished and it's looking a whole lot better than it did last week. Well, amazing job on this front yard makeover. There was so much hard work that went into this and it's looking so good. I love it. It's just freshening up the front of our house. Yeah, after the few weather extremes we had in the last year with the crazy freeze in the winter and then the super hot, dry summer, the plants that I planted last year didn't survive and so it was really needing this makeover. I also feel like I have learned in the past few years the plants that survive really well here and then the ones that don't so much and so <laughs> So I'm feeling really good about my plant choices and then also having that irrigation system has been so helpful because yes. I literally just go turn it on, it waters everything out front. So as usual, this is just another example of if you can dream it up in your head and then you're willing to put the hard work into it, you could really make a space anything you want it to be and that's what this channel is really all about, to encourage and inspire you to get out there and make something beautiful with the spaces that you have. And as an announcement, we have two videos coming up this week. That's right, we'll have a Tuesday post and a Friday post. And the first one will be adding some outdoor lighting to our front yard space, which is gonna be really fun. And then the second one is a huge project that didn't go according to plan at all. I don't think it's gonna fit, and I don't know what to do about it. And we essentially just blew a giant hole in the front of our house, and we're on a super time crunch to get it filled in. So join us for two videos next week, and we're excited to see you there. Fresh lettuce. Dang it. Fresh what? <laughs> oh, that feels good on my back. I'll give her a back rub like a little kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> Should I be in front of you like this? <laughs> well, amazing job on this front. <laughs> 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 I was gonna interrupt you to go, well, amazing job. I can't think of anything else to say. Dang it, I'm not starting right. to sound on the right foot no, with laughing. Sure not. Well, incredible job on this front <laughs> yard. <laughs> I said well instead of wow. Was that not enough? And I said incredible I know, instead you of changed amazing. It and it made me laugh because you changed what you were saying. Yeah, think about something really sad, okay? And just plaster a fake <laughs> smile on your face. Once you're super sad, then just. Put a fake smile on your face.